excited about today's special episode with an amazing guest. But first, I wanna remind you guys that if you are making six figures in your business right now and you really want to go to that next level of success, you wanna hit the seven figure mark, you wanna go to the eight figure mark, you wanna be in collaboration with women that know how to get it done. And that is exactly what the Mommy Millionaire Mastermind is all about. I am freaking out excited about the women that have already joined because they are so successful. I'm excited to learn from them and I cannot wait to collaborate with all of you guys in 2020. So if this sounds like something you need, you want to up level your business, you want to have a coach like me in your life, um, go to mommymillionaire.co forward slash mastermind and apply today to join us. All right. So today our special guest is so focused on real estate. She is a broker with Remax and owns Remax top producer. She has four locations in Southern California and has 200 125 agents that work underneath her. That is insane. She is a top mentor and coach. She's also the founder of Real Estate in Heels and she does masterminds as well and live events. And she works alongside her husband, Christian, and she has two amazing little kiddos. And I cannot wait for you guys to learn today from her. We talk about investing in yourself, we talk about the way that she grew up as an immigrant from Mexico and coming to America with nothing. She talks about how she built her dream life with her husband. And she also is gonna share with you guys the top skills you need to be a bomb real estate agent. And if you've ever wanted to get into investing, we kind of talk about how to dip your toes in that and get started today. So I can't wait for you guys to listen into this episode. Okay, I am so excited to have Jeanette Fuentes on the show today. Hi. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Yay. Thank you, I'm so excited. I mean, this has been a long time in the making. We yes. met just like, when was it? A couple months ago, we spoke at Tim Story's event together. Yeah, was that like six months ago? Yeah. I know, and it's finally, you're here. Yes. Okay, so you know, you were just introduced and you're like this amazingly successful mom, wife, and real estate owner yes. and agent. What, no, what, what do you call it? So I'm a broker owner. Broker, yeah, yeah, broker yeah, yeah. owner, yeah, 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 broker yeah. owner. Okay. Yeah. Um, so clearly I'm not in the real estate industry, <laughs> even though I talk to you a lot. Yes. But you know, you're married to, how long have you and Christian been married? We've been married for 11 years. Oh, same as me and Chase. You too? Oh my gosh. You guys got married in 2008? Yes. Oh yeah. The worst time ever. For I know, it's the recession. Yes. Yep. It was so funny because when we got married, Chase worked for um, his dad's company, which was like an oil-based business, and every there was just layoffs galore. And Chase, like that was he was fresh on the scene, so he was able to go into the company and like bring in a whole new revenue stream because he was young and like excited. But he took advantage of the recession when other people were like losing their jobs. And you see, that's yeah, that's what happened to us. Yep, you just yes. didn't figure it out. Yes, yes, yes. People were getting out, out of the business. So it was less competition for us. And you were getting into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> You're yeah, like, yeah. bye. <laughs> we're like, see you later. Okay, so, you know, I know you didn't like grow up with like an entrepreneur mindset. You didn't grow up with a lot of money. Yes. And I really want everybody like listening in and watching this right now to, you know, understand where you came from. Cause I know mm -hmm. we kind of have, I mean, not similar backgrounds, but like we had this drive to like, yes. you know, make something of ourselves. Yeah, so I think it's super awesome when you meet people, you just have this drive. So. You know, I'm an immigrant to this country yes. and we came for a better life. Uh, my parents always knew that, you know, working at a minimum wage job was not going to take us anywhere. Mm -hmm. So I always say that I got that entrepreneur uh, spirit, you could say, from my parents. So uh, they started with a little uh, catering truck. It actually looked like a little hot dog stand Aww. on the streets. Oh, I, yeah. You know what I mean? And um, I was the one stopping them for hot dogs. Yeah, yeah you know those little. Oh, so, and for the little, um, did they sell the little chicharrones with the hot sauce and the lemon? No. Not the oh. chicharrones, but, <laughs> but, but we, you know what I mean? And, and they had two jobs. They were part time jobs at a pizza place, delivery. And I just saw how work, how, what real work was, you yeah. know? And uh, we had lines. So we were here in this country for less than a year. So they bought a catering truck an actual catering okay. truck, right? Yeah. That was worth, I don't know, $50,000, what have you. They purchased a second one. And for me, being in this country for a year into it, yeah. and then having that, they purchased their own home the second year. Oh I my just gosh. Said, Hello, if yeah. they did that yeah. with their limitations, it's my responsibility to to 10x. Now, did they speak English when you came? They didn't. So they did all this, like speaking Spanish only. Yes. Wow. And With, did you know English when you came? Very little. Okay. How so old were you? I was 11 years old. Okay. 
and I became Oh, so you're like accountant. going through puberty and like yes. helping them build a business. Oh my, oh my gosh. Exactly. So I was like their accountant, helping them at the register. So I learned a lot of owning a business by seeing it. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. I love that. Yes. Okay. So um, do they still have like catering trucks? No. So they got divorced and uh, oh, they always did that together, you know, that business. So I went to college and uh, my career was reporter journalism. Oh my gosh, I could see Hello. that. I can see you. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So so my parents get divorced. I graduated. I was looking for jobs, worked at a newspaper, Spanish newspaper. That's all they know what to do. Yeah. So then I took a, a step back and I said to my mom, you know, let's let's buy something that you can do, like a business. So we opened a restaurant oh. together. So we became partners. So you just weren't a waitress at a restaurant. You were owning it with yes. your mom. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Yes. Okay. So you know paying the taxes yeah. and all that stuff, customer service, marketing. I learned How so old much. were you at this at point? At that time, I was probably about 25 years old. Okay. About oh my 25. gosh. And you hadn't, you, I know that you met Christian because he was like coming in and eating the chips and salsa. Oh my gosh. Every my day. <laughs> yes. So next door, there was a real estate office oh. and it was this uh, real estate agent. He was a top agent of the office and he started to come for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> And I can tell you because he always talks about it. He was he was so overweight. He was chubby, Aww. and it was hilarious because he would come for a breakfast burrito, chorizo. You know what? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm half Mexican, so I agree. Not. I totally am. No, she's not. Yes, my maiden name is Angeles. I know most people. I'm always like, it's Angeles. It's okay. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So you know. Yeah. So I totally grew up like half of my, of my family is Mexican. No way. So I grew up with eating all that type of like food and so culture. Know, like, Hispanic panic, like that's, yeah. yeah Have you heard that? A, no. You haven't heard that? No. Oh, that's why I used to call it. They just like freak out over everything. It's like somebody's sick and it's like, oh my God. No, oh, you yeah, didn't yeah. have that. Well, we call it different. Something like, dramatic, like, like, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you say something in Spanish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what <laughs> me, like I can't speak Spanish. I'm like, this HP. I know, I know, you said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's so, you know, so the chorizo burrito, oh my gosh, he will make me laugh. He'll say, can you make me a breakfast burrito chorizo with no, no, no oil or no grease? <laughs> can you believe that? So we will all Just like the oiliest, like. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, it was so cute. That's how we met. And he was Aww. next door. I always believe that things happen for a reason, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. I, I, I thought I was there to help my mom, which I was. Yeah. And, and to I meet met, him. I met the love of my life, my best friend. He became my best friend first. So you guys started hanging out and then what? You started dating. Then, yeah. <laughs> No, you know, the, the funny thing is, it was a total just friendship. I, I actually was engaged at that time. Do you oh my that? gosh. So I was engaged and he had a girlfriend. We became friends. He was our customer first. I thought, you know, I have extra time with this restaurant. So then I got my license. Okay. So you, did he learn from him? Yeah. So, yes. So my fiance was in the business too. Oh, but wow. But I decided to go with the chubby guy next door yeah. because I said, well, he's next door to yeah. my mom's restaurant. Yeah. And, and was I, this in Chino Hills? Yes, okay. in Chino Hills. Okay. So I was like, it's all making sense. So I started working for him. And two years later, then we became a couple of, well, obviously I broke my engagement. Yeah. <laughs> and guess who my coach was of breaking up my relationship? Who? Your, oh, husband. your husband, of yes. course. I was thinking like something, I was like, oh my gosh, of course. Yes. Like, yeah, he's not the right guy for you. Yes. I, like, I am. You're right. You're right. You know? Oh my gosh. But he was right. Yeah. You know? Well, clearly you guys have been married 11 years. Yes. I love that story. Yes. Okay. So you have had like this spirit and this drive to like make, what, what was the drive though? Was it to have freedom or like to experience financial freedom? Like what was it? You know, it is freedom. It's having your own destiny. You're controlling your life yeah. in a positive way. Yeah. I always saw my parents worry about money. Mm -hmm. They work so hard. And I just, I just thought there has to be more than this. Mm -hmm. I saw them working so hard, but they still were not okay. Yeah. You know, and then they didn't know how to, you know, take care of their finances and all that stuff. So for me, I just wanted freedom mm -hmm. and security. And to think like when you get older, you're, you're building your wealth, but yep. you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. And I think a lot of us, like, I know I craved that when I was a child too, because mm -hmm. I saw my mom and stepdad fight all the time about money. Mm -hmm. And eventually they, you know, got a divorce. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like if they would have had money, mm -hmm. like our life would have been much different because they would have just been nicer to each other. I mean, yes. it was a constant battle about 
spending and then not having enough to pay the bills and it's just living in that type of tension. Yes. Even for yes. the kids is so horrible. So how old were you when you when your parents got a divorce? Um, I was older, you know, but at the time of uh, the money situation, it was always since I, I used to sleepwalk and then it was so hilarious because they say that they'll have parties with their, you know, friends yeah. who have you and I'll sleepwalk and I'll say, where's the money? Aww. And I was like a nine year old, a 10 year old, right? So it's yeah. hilarious. I was about 23 when okay, I Okay, so they were a little yeah. older. So yeah, and mm -hmm. yeah, it was. Now are they like good off financially now? No, <laughs> well, well, my father passed away oh, last year. I'm yeah. sorry. Thank you, yes, he passed away. Um, he had an alcohol problem and he was a smoker, a big smoker. And uh, I always knew that when he will pass away will be related to smoking because he will smoke like three packs a day. Oh my gosh. And I just knew that, you know, this is not gonna take him somewhere good. He died last year, 63 year old. Man, Did he I, have COPD or what was it that he had? Um, actually, he just got a heart attack for the first time and he didn't make it. Oh. And they say that's not very common. Yeah. To do. He just, so um, that experience was, you know, when they call you and they say your, hus your, your dad is at the hospital, you know, I felt it. I felt like he passed mm -hmm. and it was weird that he was just gone. Yeah. Oh. You know? Um, but security and freedom when it comes to that, I, I am very happy that I was able to take care of him the last, I would say, three to four years Aww. of his life financially. Yeah. And, that's... Um, and it was, this is what it's all about for me. Mm -hmm. Success, helping your family, being able to do more, break the chains, you mm -hmm. know? I think it's people have this fear about money or sometimes cultures as well. You know what I mean? Like oh, this totally. and that or addictions and all that stuff. And I think you just have to ask for help and there's more out there. Mm -hmm. So I'm all about breaking the chains. I love that. Oh my gosh. And your kids, I met your kids. You did. And yeah. And they're like so well behaved and so sweet. I was oh like, gosh. Well, I know. <laughs> they, have the, they have the iPads. Yeah. Well, but even when they like introduced, because your daughter came up to me and oh, said something so sweet. She, she said, did. Yeah. I can't remember what she said, but it was something like, you're awesome. That's all I got from it. I was well, like, oh, thank you. She heard you speak and she says, mom, she, I I think she said something like she's a something like she's a boss woman. I like her. I admire her. She's so confident. But she's so confident. I mean, most kids wouldn't have been able to go up to an adult and say that, you know. So you're raising amazing children. Thank you. That's, yeah, that's so exciting. That's that's for me as well. You know, if I want, I love to inspire, and I say, but I really have to start with my kids. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, that absolutely. Extension, that's your your. Those legacy. are the most important. Yeah. Yep. You know what I mean? That's oh, yeah. that's you. And you're like. You're, you've probably had to go through a lot of mindset works and like roadblocks because yes. of how you grew up. Yes. And you're, you're like helping them bypass all of that. Yes. They just think it's easy. Like my four year old, um, when he got ready to start TK this year, um, we've had him fill out like this questionnaire, like so that it can remember. I have the kids do it every year. And I, one of the questions was, what's, what is easy to you? And he said, to make money. And I was like, oh my gosh, this kid has heard his mom say that so yeah, many yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. And that's going to be the lens that he looks at life through, it's easy to make money. Yep. And I thought, gosh, like if I would have thought that, like my whole entire life would be so much further along. So you're helping your kids get closer to where, right? wherever they want to be. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, they're, they're thinking their dreams. They say, mom, you know, can I own a plane? I, I, I would never think those kind of things yeah. when I was little, right? I yeah. would be like, can we pay the bills? But yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you're exposing them to such a different world. Yes. So and they probably don't have to hear you guys fight and no. do all the stuff you had to deal with. Yes. So, that's so, so, it's, awesome. so now the trick is to, to let them know, yes, there's no limitations. Because I think it's what, it's almost like what people told you in your past, what oh, money yeah. is. It's hard or people with money are bad or, you know, things like that. Yes. And also, but now with my kids is about, you could do whatever you want to do, but you do have to work hard yeah. for it. Yeah. Right? It's not just, it's going to come your way. Yeah. Magically. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I um, I always like, because my whole thing is right now, like with that belief of working hard, mm -hmm. I really like saying something different. I'm like, you know what? We're going to have as much fun as we want to have this next year, and we're going to make the most amount of money. And I want to show that to my kids because really think about it. When you're you're making your money work for you at this point in real estate yes. and stuff like that, so yes. you're actually you're not out there like hard work is digging ditches. Like I don't want my True. kids to do hard work. True. Like you True. do the smart work up here True. and like know how to make your money work, right? That is so, so true. Um, you know, I tell my daughter more about because she's so freaking smart. She's an A student. Yeah, you can tell. So for me with her because she doesn't study and she gets A's. 
And I say, you know, you should work a little harder to get an A plus. And she's like, Mom, I'm like, because you, and, and I even tell her, do you know, I'm like, do you know that you're in fourth grade? I said, but when you go to upper grades, there's going to be the chance of going to honor classes. Yeah. And she's like, oh, AP classes. I said, so you could work a little bit harder. And she's like, Mom. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Okay, so that brings me to a funny story. Last week, the kids brought home their report cards because Chase did the parent-teacher conferences. And I didn't even look at the grades. I went straight to the character skills. And I said, and Cooper got a couple that were just like satisfactory. Because you know, those are just like the yes. satisfactory or outstanding. And I, he got a couple S's. I was like, and that's all I cared about. I didn't even look at the grades. I was like, what is this? Like, no, this is unacceptable. I, I have a whole problem that with school. That is so good. But yeah, that's so good because it's your attitude and it who is. you are. It's, yes. It's yes. A, yeah, you have to have self-control. Like you have to have all those things if you want to build, you know, your dream life. He's, he thinks he's going to be on Shark Tank one day. So. Oh, I love that. I know. I love my, my it. My kids love Shark Tank too. Oh my gosh. So Robert like lives around here. I need to find him. What? I'm going to have him on the podcast. Where is he? I don't find know. Him. He goes to Soul Cycle and I, I go to Soul Cycle and I, I wave at him, but I need to like get the kahunas yes. up to like say, will you come on my podcast? Tell him right now. We want him. Robert, we want you on the mommy millionaire podcast yes we do <laughs> that's so awesome um okay so you guys started dating you started to become a real estate agent did you have success right away no not right away and imagine getting in the business 2007 i will say oh, 2006 it's... so that's when everything was going down that was the worst time of real estate yeah and, and so but was it so the mexican restaurant was keeping you afloat like paying your bills and stuff yes okay yeah it was enough just paying my bills i was using credit cards actually as well so i remember i had a credit card i will never forget i think it was like thirty thousand, and i was like oh my gosh that i used for my credit card so um but i always knew this is I don't okay know first why. of all i like how she just said it was like thirty thousand or something like that because people like when i coach people they're like oh my gosh i'm five thousand dollars on that and it they are crushed by that amount and I'm like it's, that's nothing like yes. it's gonna go away so how do you build a how did you build your business with debt looming on you because that is really hard for a lot of people yes and I know people listening in need that help <sighs> you know so imagine a credit card of 30,000 and starting in a business that it's going down like, right it was not going like, people are losing their homes <laughs> like nobody has cash yeah but I always okay so I always feel that I have this strong determination and I just knew I know what I could do. I know I could help people find their homes. I mean well. I'm passionate about it. And I and I took away the commission, the dollar sign away from it. So I fell in love with real estate for me because I was actually helping people to to short sell their homes, which was to not save just them. close mm -hmm. their home. So I got very passionate about it. Yeah. That I even forgot. And if they say I'm not too sure, I said, think about it, bring your husband, what have you. And we I started doing really, really good. So I think my first three deals, half of it I did to pay my credit cards and I paid my credit cards within probably six months of being in the business. Wow, that's amazing. And I was so, so happy, but I never doubted myself. I just said, just keep going, just keep okay, going, so just keep going. Why didn't you doubt your, and I'm the same way, I'm kind of like, whatever, like if something bad happens, okay. it's just like, I, I don't have time to focus on it. Yes. And people always ask me, they say, but how? And I'm like, I don't know, I just did it. But do you have a process? Like how did you keep going, keep going and like keep your mindset right? You know what? It was the weirdest thing. I just realized the other day, I saw something in my garage, a box when I was little, and I noticed that um, I had like affirmations since I was like in high school. Oh my gosh, I love but that. But I never knew they were called affirmations. Right, yeah. <laughs> when I got in the business, yes. I started going to, you know, seminar coaches and yeah, stuff. Yeah, so since I was very little, I'll say 10 years old, I will, I will go to the bathroom in the mirror, and if I was sad, if I didn't sleep, because you know, you know, my parents were fighting, what have you, I'll just wipe my tears, and then I'll say, one day I'll be happy. One day I'll have money. One day I'll have my own family. Mm -hmm. And I always believed. Mm -hmm. And I think every time something sad happens to me or a setback, I just say, just keep going. And I just get stronger and things always work out. Mm -hmm. mm. I love that. So you were doing something you weren't even aware that you were yes. doing something that would change your life 10 years later, yes. 20 years later. So for now, I think it's faith. Mm -hmm. I Yeah. I'm a huge believer and like I grew up in church and so I had like I've been doing all these affirmations too I didn't realize too like oh my gosh like yeah I have God behind me so like all the time no, it's nothing there's nothing that's scary right exactly 
So, okay, so you get started, and I know there's people listening in right now that are getting started in real estate, okay? Mm -hmm. And, you know, they're saying it's a projected downturn. Like, there's all these, like, you know, if you watch the news, which I don't watch the news because it's just negative, right? Yes. yes. Everybody has an agenda. Yes. But all these people are saying, oh, gosh, is it a good time to get into real estate and become an agent? What do you say to that? I love real estate, so I think it's the best (laughs) time. You're saying it's always the best time, yeah. (laughs) You know, um, I think that you just really, you are in, in commission. Mm-hmm. So you're I'm a huge is, fan of commission, <laughs> right? So you can make as much money as you want to. Mm-hmm. Some people say it's easy. Some people say it's not. Some people do amazing. Some people do okay. I think it's what you want to make out of it. Mm-hmm. And if you're really passionate into really doing it, yeah, it's a great time. You could be your your it's your own business. You're an entrepreneur. You do your own business. You you make up your own hours. You know, you could say there's people that say I'm a teacher and I also do real estate on the side. And so what do you do? You thousand dollars extra. Yeah. So that's a good point. Is it okay to do real estate on the side? Yes. Okay. Yes. So what are the top three skills that if I'm a real, if I'm starting real estate right now, what are the top three skills I need to have? I always say for brand new agents, it's all about joining a team or or joining the right team Yeah. with a mentor, Mm -hmm. you know, with a team, I mean, actually hands on coaching you you through the process. process. You know, okay. not just the broker, not having a good broker, yeah, but actually a good real estate agent that's behind you. So you could use their own, you know, listings for open houses. And if you get stuck with all kinds of questions, property taxes, right, interest rate, you have the team to back you up. Yeah. You can okay. do it all on your so own. So join a team, join the right yes. team. How do you know it's the right team? Is if they, if they have other successful agents next to them or if they have a mentoring like process in place? You know, nowadays I feel because of social media, it's so much easier to see to their see reputation. Yeah. So I think searching for them, seeing if they have good reviews from clients, I think that's huge, you know, from like Yelp or Zillow, okay. you know, what, how many yeah. stars they have. And I would never think have, to do that. I love that. I would never think to go on Yelp and check your real estate agent. I love it. Okay. Once in a while, you get some cuckoo ones that <laughs> lie and say my agent was horrible and it's because they wanted something. Right. right? There's always that chance. Yeah. I see them on my uh, podcast reviews. Right. I only have like three and I'm like, really? Like you're an angry person. Yes. You're an angry bird. Go away. Yes. Angry bird. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, you know, I look at you and I'm like, you're beautiful. You, you're charismatic. You're very driven. And... You know, those are things that I think a lot of people will look at and go, okay, well, it's easy for Jeanette because she has all these, you know, things. And I know people say the same exact thing about me. Um, do you think that, like, the you're the whole package, basically, right? Oh, thank you. Is that something that can be taught to somebody else? Or do you think somebody just has it or they don't? So... I think that, okay, so I don't know if it happened to you, but when I was younger, I was saying my 20s, I feel like it was a curse. Because people will not take me serious. Yeah. At jobs, my bosses, they'll be like, oh, she's just probably, a, you know, she's cute, whatever. She's not smart. She's not smart. She's not driven. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now with confidence, you're right. We are a package deal, right? Mm-hmm. But I will always be doubted. Like, uh, maybe she's not that smart. Even in my business. Oh, yeah. You know, we, I'm the broker of the office. Not yeah. my husband. You know, he does, uh, we're 50-50 partners, but I'm the broker. I'm You're the doing the managing. The contracts, mm-hmm. the management side of it. So I realized that you have to prove yourself, Mm -hmm. right? So then you have to show that you are professional, that you know what you're talking about. Um, So yeah, the whole package, yeah, but we work on ourselves, don't we? Uh, Yeah. Do you, I mean. I work out, I'm getting my lasers done, I'm getting my nails done. Yeah, 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 so people say, oh, you can look. I'm like, trust me, if I'll eat whatever I want to eat, I'll gain 30 pounds. Yeah, yeah. You know Absolutely. What I mean? and, and I think that it's so important to be, you know, I'm 40, I'm 40 years old. How old are you? 32. Oh, you're such a baby. I know, I know. You're People 30, always do that. You're 32. I know. You, I got started, but I like, I have a crazy childhood. So I was like a charge nurse by the time I was 21. Like I was like, yeah, I've been making moves for oh a while. Oh my gosh, I feel like I want to go like this. I know, you're so cute. <laughs> so what I was going to say, oh my gosh, you threw me off when you're 32. I know. You're so, so much but I get so mad because I'm thinking, I'm already 32. I need to be so much further along. And Chase always puts me in check because he's only 30. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And so he's like, like, tr- awesome. we, yeah, he's like, we're good. I'm like, okay, we'll, we'll yes. be billionaires by the time we're 40. I love it. I hope so. Yes. I was going to tell you something as, as a woman, because it's really important. I forgot because you threw me off, but <laughs> I think it has to do with, um, oh, I forgot. It was just about taking care of yourself, you know? Well, because- yeah. And it's about like, you know, I think people have this like, oh, I just, I can't be taught. 
And the yes. thing is, is like if you put work into yourself, it's not just work on our outside appearance. No. We're putting work constantly on our inward appearance too, That's what right? I was gonna say. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right. So see, we're on the same page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was gonna say, um, I'm 40 years old and now I'm all proud. My mom's like, why do you keep saying that you're 40? Because I am so proud. Yeah. I, I am proud of how I look and where I am in my life. And so, you walk around with that type of confidence. Like, like yeah. yeah. Of course. <laughs> so, but you know what? Of course I work out. Of course I, of course I get some Botox and facials and all kinds of stuff. I, I try to eat good. But I really think the secret is to feel good from the inside. Mm -hmm. yep. There was a time that I was not taking care of my inside. And mm -hmm. I was getting anxiety, not be, being able to sleep well. And I think two years ago, I started working with myself because yeah. I'm a overachiever and I take it to we take it sometimes to the extreme yeah so we, we probably have, are a lot alike okay. seriously I really think that for women and I am a you know I really want them to know is take care of yourself from the inside yeah you know take time for yourself mm -hmm. you know I was like go 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 and I also realized that I was mm, the way of me blocking anything that maybe I have to work on myself internally it was about achieving things mm -hmm. which is awesome but also taking the time for yourself to do yoga just yeah. to feel good to to really appreciate life, you know? And if yeah. you're feeling stressed, admit it. Right. Because it's like you could be achieving, achieving, getting all these awards, hitting all these things, yeah. these sales goals. Yes. But like if you don't feel good about yourself, if you're just going it's to like, the next thing, yeah. then and you're not taking time to even like enjoy this yes. thing, what's it even about? Right? Yes. That was so me too. I totally get it. Yes. Um, okay, so Here's the thing is, um, I believe that you need to have skills mm -hmm. to be successful in real estate mm -hmm. in any career, but what are the top three skills you need as a, as a real estate woman or man, I guess. Listening yes. in. So top skills. Okay. So let me think about this. It's not a sales, a salesperson. I really think that it has to do with customer service. Okay. So, uh, skills is finding the right home to the clients. So being able to search, you know, information for them. So being very good. So at it's like asking skills. the questions, asking the right questions. Oh, and yeah. listening. You have to be, it's mm -hmm. almost, I feel like more of a counselor. Yeah. So, you know, listening a lot, speaking less. See, I would never think that you would have said that about a real estate agent, but it's so true. The one, my real estate agent, I'm like, I love her because she does. She knows everything about me. She you is kind of like a therapist. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. She knows everything I hate. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's when they really will have your back. Yes. Not just a commission mm -hmm. and sell you a home. Yeah. We need to feel like we're understood by you. Yes. Yeah. So even at times if it's, you know, I don't think this is a house for you because blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Right? So, so you're not just trying to make the sell. You're really putting their needs first. That's so yes. important. Being a good listener. Okay. Um, being very into the edge of what's going on right now. So very educated, like educate yourself. The ones... It's not a Where's the best sales. place to go get educated if you want to be in real estate? I think it has to do with knowing the trends. So uh, the board, the local board has a lot of, you know, this is the contracts changing yeah. or, you know, things are changing on Yelp. So there's so much, so many seminars, so many things to do. Yeah. And your skills of really knowing what the market is, they need to understand the market. So a lot of so people would describe say, the market right now to me. If we're, so we're, we are in Southern California. What's the market like here? Oh, California. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a good so, time to buy for people right so now? It's it's a really good, you know what? I think it's kind of like stable for buying or selling. Okay. You know? So it's almost what you want to do. You know, people say, oh my gosh, should I? There's people that say, oh, I'm not going to buy a house if the interest rate goes up half a point. And for me, it's like, really? That's not going to make a difference. Mm -hmm. so how about if you you were able to find the home, your mm -hmm. dream home? Are you going to say no to because you have to pay $200 more a month? You're such a good salesperson. Buy it right now. <laughs> <laughs> So I think a salesperson has to be more of a, um, not salesy, but really know the passion of the why. Yeah. Like understand your why to mm -hmm. your clients. Okay. So number one is be a good listener. Yes. Number two is understand the market. Yes. And number three is basically what you're saying is, uh, I put, sum that up in three words. Oh my gosh. Ah, I've always seen with me. Or five mm -hmm. words. <laughs> You know what? I don't know if I, I, what I said, but also you have to be very techie nowadays. Oh, techie. Yes. Okay. All right. We're adding in a fourth one. Yeah. We're you got to be techie. One. Yeah. I mean, there's clients want answers fast. Yeah. So should, okay. So that's a good, that's a good, um, so it's the follow up. You have to be amazing at your follow up. So should you right away get an assistant to help you, even if you're not successful or should you be doing it all on your own right away? And that's huge. No, 
first work on yourself. If you're a brand new agent, work for somebody. So it's almost like you are. You the should be the assistant. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, to get all the ins and outs, the paperwork, all that kind yes. of stuff. Okay. Yes. Then when you're rolling, it, it, some people might take them a year, six months, or two years, three, whatever it is. I think it's about your income. And then you know, okay, I need an assistant so I could continue to grow. Okay. Now, now for other people listening in that are not real estate agents and maybe they have some extra cash and they want to invest in real estate, yes. um, where should they get started? Do you know? So we do a lot of, uh, actually my husband and I, we do a lot of flipping. Okay. So we made a lot of, uh, actually a lot of money from flipping. <laughs> You're like, I'm not gonna like, uh, you know, be humble okay. here, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's funny you say that because we realize that as commission, as commission being realtors, this is my line from my husband. He says, it's almost like you're getting a tip. Yeah. So we also show our agents in our office, not just to be realtors, but to be investors. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Because yeah. then now you're getting profits of 40, 50, 80, a hundred thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. So for people that are not in the business or in the business, I think real estate is awesome to invest. Oh I mean, there's gosh. tangible. It's right there. I love yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So how do we start? Same so you time, like flipping. Rubber, I feel yes. like it's like flipping or you do like the um, income properties. Income properties as well. Income do you have those too? Well. Yes. Okay. yes. So, okay. So I talk about that all the time because it's something I'm like really getting into. I'm excited yes. about. So for people that are just brand new into that, um, should they go with an investment fund? Like should they go, what do they call it? A writ or whatever? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Should they do that or should they do something on their own? Like go get a little duplex or a fourplex to start out. What do you think? You see, I think it has to do with, uh, everyone has a different situation financially and their goals, right? So mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I don't like to give a gen generic advice. So do what's best for you basically. Exactly. Okay. But I think regardless doing it, it's awesome. I mean, I, I have clients that, have humble beginnings and let's just say they're like, uh, I don't know, garners and they own like, um, I just, somebody just passed away and he had like six duplex. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. I didn't even know it was, it was like $8 million or something. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. That gave me chills. Yes. People. It gave me the chills too. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So well, because you, if you it. have good credit combined with just a little tiny bit of cash, yes, you can go a long way. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So I will say anyone, we should think of investing into income properties, flipping. It's just, I okay. tell people do it before you feel like you're ready. Cause it's never going to be the right time. Cause you're always going to think, Oh, I need to get more secure here. It's like, you know, and always do it with people that have good reputation and just go for it. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, if you know, people are already doing it, get the advice. I always say that. I don't know how you work with with people, but let's say that I'm looking for advice on fitness. I'm always like, who's, who's right. has a good reputation and what yeah. have you, and give me some advice. It's I'm usually like it. referral marketing. Okay. Yes. Like, yeah. What and is, just jump on it. Don't be so afraid. Just do it. Right. Because what do you have to lose money? And then what, what happens if you lose money? It's not even really losing it. Cause it's just on its way back to you. Exactly. You're mm -hmm. investing. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh my gosh. So you need to so buy good. some units, girlfriend. Yeah, I'm, I'm in. Let's I know do it. Who you could call. I <laughs> <laughs> Over in Chino Hills, actually, I want it. Well, what I'm I'll excited to me for <laughs> I'm not trying to buy anything up in California. I'll tell you that. Oh, I know. I know. Um, okay, so is there anything for people listening in right now? Let's say there might be another, you know, economic crash coming. Is there mm -hmm. anything people can do to safeguard their families against the economic crash that might be coming? Who knows? Yeah. So I always tell my clients in real estate. Don't get so excited when you see that, um, the, the refis, you know, they have on commercials everywhere. When I go get my nails, my nail guy's like, Oh my gosh, did you see that the, the interest rate went down? <laughs> Try not to refi because that's how a lot of people got in trouble. If you don't need to, or, yeah. or pull money away from your properties. Yeah. Don't, if you are able to just live within your means, that is the best rule. You know, just don't overextend yourself. Don't use so much of your credit cards. Invest your well, money. Yeah, credit cards is bad debt, right? Yes, yes. But getting an investment property and having debt on that property is not bad debt. That's good. Yeah, that's, that's good, good debt. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and I think a lot of people, because like, and I won't mention the name on this podcast because I don't want to get in trouble, but there's a guy out there that's super popular that tells everybody to not have a mortgage debt and to not have um, any type of debt at all. And I just, I'm so against that because I'm like, you're, these people are going to be paying your mortgage for you. Yeah. Right. Yes. Like it doesn't make sense. And like, even if there is an economic crash, they still need a place to live. Like yes. that's like a basic need. People yes. still need shelter. Yes. And you know, the rent is so expensive. I, well, no, I know. So might as mm -hmm. well own your own home. Yeah. You know I mean, yeah. So we talked about, um, I don't own my own home. 
Oh, look at her. She needs to buy. No, I don't want to buy. But I, I, we won't even get into that <laughs> argument right here. You told me you want your dream home. I am. I'm going to rent it. Oh, look, oh my gosh. We need a, this cushion here. <laughs> I don't like... So, like, I have commitment issues. Like, I've been in this house for six months. I'm over it. I want out. Like, a couple weeks after we moved in, I was over it. Like, I wanted to move. Oh like, I just... Gosh. So, and, and like maybe this house I'll want to stay in it and maybe yes. I'll buy it, but I don't like being like committed to, yeah, 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 to yeah. like, oh my gosh, I have to be here forever because now I have money like, yes. saved up, you know, no, I get you. So I'd rather do it in investment properties until I'm ready to you know settle down. I guess you could say, I get you, even yeah. though I have three kids, I should be settled down. <laughs> like, I'm not settled. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, also we're saying a lot of for investors and everyone else that wants to invest in just in case something a, a bad yeah. market happens or what have you cash is king. They always say that to so save your money. Yeah, and wait and see if, if it does crash, then pick up everything be that ready. people are selling. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So let's be ready. We, we can't, you know what I mean, just let it happen to us again. You know? Right. Yeah. I love that. So it's like living life on offense instead of on defense. Be ready. I like that. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good stuff right there. Okay, so I, now let's get into um, just real tangible stuff, okay? So when it comes to you guys working together, you're doing basically like the management side of the brokerage yes. and he's out there selling and stuff like that. How do you guys even make time for each other? Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's very intentional. It has to be very intentional. <laughs> yeah. So you guys do like oh a date gosh, night every yes. week or what? Do you yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we do, uh, twice a month. We try to do it once a week, but we're doing it twice a month. We do our own date night, just ourselves because we entertain a lot. We go out a lot with, with, groups right? yeah and then the weekends are for family so with the kids and all that stuff oh so you always say we are only doing family stuff on the weekends yeah unless it's something really really important okay you know what I mean? it's hard because like i feel like because you guys are in the business of networking too yes. so am i yeah there's always something like every i feel like every friday and saturday night we have somewhere to go that is not kid friendly like it's like a an event and i just told chase in 2020 i'm like i'm, I'm overdoing those events like i know i meet people at yes. those but like the it, we're in the age of social media like i don't yes. necessarily have to go out like i've already done i don't even want to call it the grunt work but like i've made my rounds like i'm doing it on social media now because i want to be with my kids totally because time goes so fast i know so we so we try because yeah before the kids i used to do it all the time i mean it's every night you could be busy, especially in southern night. california you right? could be busy doing something. and you could say yes to everything so mm -hmm. now we really try to do thursdays for networking events and stuff like that once in a while if it's really important on a friday so that's why when i took my kids on a sunday then we went to that event with tim story oh yeah you're taking the kids i took the kids because it's the me sunday. too you took your kids as well mm -hmm. you know what i mean so um balancing the kids i think we do a great job with the kids and with husband and wife it has to be very intentional because we work together and then we have the kids in there so are you guys at home you know talking business we we may have a rule that we can't we start it and then we say ah, do, 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 do. Send me an and email. you guys really, you guys, yes. really, oh, I love that. Chase, we need to do that too. Yeah. So we send me an email. Yeah, he's Don't talk to email. me. And then I said, yeah. oh yeah, okay, I'll send you an email. <laughs> I'll see your assistant on it too. Uh, to take a stress away from working together, we own, we both That's have a a good some rule. assistants as well. Yeah. Okay. So what, how much money were you making when you got an assistant? Cause I think a lot of people struggle with that. Sure. I got one. I, I've had one for seven years. And so it's mm -hmm. just like, it's a, I mean, it, saved my life seven yes. years ago yes and i can't imagine not having an assistant now but it was kind of scary because you're bringing on you know an employee yes. another employee that you're like having to take care of but then yeah. it's it pays for itself like within a day within I think. a day <laughs> so when i was a realtor um i worked with christian my husband and we were already a team yeah so i'll say like when you, we started making over like myself he was making at that time like three hundred thousand. i was making like 150 so we had two assistants um, and I think as if you want more, income, so you're at six figures, you know, but yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, but now I have my personal assistant that helps me with my kids lunches and you know what I mean? Drop something to the school. So she's kind of like a house assistant too. Yes, yeah. And that is so helpful because mm -hmm. if not, I will go crazy. Yeah. Like doctor's appointments and all that stuff. Oh yeah. Okay, good. You yeah. have that. Yeah. So I think a lot of moms like kind of struggle yes. with that because yeah, the guilt. Yeah, they're like, oh, I feel bad that I can't. And I I was like that, and now I mean, Chase does a lot of that kind of stuff. And my mom's actually, if we get this house that I'm trying to get, mm -hmm. my mom's gonna move in with us. Nice. Because it's like a mother-in-law like suite type thing. So I'm so excited because I need help, you yeah, know. For and sure. I don't want. I'm just so, such a freak about who's around my kids. So yes. Um, I'm my really mom excited. lives with us too. Oh, there you go. So she's like my main support. Aww. You know, like I have I have a baby. See, and that's so much easier to have mom because yes. it's like you know that they're getting that love and that nurturing yes family mm -hmm. so whenever we go to events or you know we have to spend the night somewhere in vegas what have you so it's my mom okay so it's just 
Yeah, awesome. that's exa- that's how we either have either of the moms. All right, so you have to give me advice. You live with your mom. How yeah. do you keep oh, it? Oh, oh. Like, does your mom try to talk at Christian or anything? Or because yes. my mom is like, I like. Trip, trip. Yes. Oh my god, that's another topic. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah, that and we've been living, living together for a while now. Wow, and it's working out. It's obviously. like seven years. I will say we have like a sisterhood kind of relationship. So at times it's a little bit Because you're taking like, care of her like, almost. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. We have strong personalities. It's the boundaries. You have to do boundaries. Does she so. still have a restaurant? No. No, okay. no, no, no. So now it worked out for me. But yeah. can help me. She's <laughs> enough busy. But I think you always have to balance it out. And I always tell Christian too. Because sometimes she'll listen to conversations and she'll be like, oh, you should do this. And I'm like, mom, you can't get into our conversation. <laughs> yeah. But I think you have to wait what's the benefits that you're getting and that it all comes from love. Oh my gosh. And yeah. It's family. Mm, yes. You know, so when there's something so stupid that you're fighting about something like, Oh, you shouldn't put the coffee there, blah, blah, blah. Or she's, Oh, because she still, I'm her daughter. So yeah. I feel like she wants to like boss so, me around oh, yeah. a little bit. Yeah. And I'm like, you're like, I'm 40 years old. <laughs> Just stop telling me. Yeah, I know yeah, how old yeah, you are. Yeah. So then, but then I think like, she's my mother. I'm grateful. She's with me. Mm-hmm. And how blessed I am that she's with my kids. Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to see. I hope my mom's going to listen to this. Yes. Because she's like had a hard time because she's like doesn't want to give up her independence. And I'm like, you know, she's single. I'm like, what are you going to do? I'm like, too. I said, yeah. you know, come live with us in Orange County. Hopefully you find a man. You yes. Know? Yes. We'll see. Oh, that's your, <laughs> that's my, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, go to happy years, happy hour. I know. Actually, oh yeah. Go have a Cadillac margarita. <laughs> You'll find somebody down there. Um, oh my gosh. Well, this has been so much fun. Yes. And I think for everybody listening in right now, we're all about having like the right mindset to go to that next level in success. A lot of people are making six figures, trying to go to seven figures. Yes. There's some people listening in that are at seven figures, trying to go to eight figures. Yes. And I always believe it's like that there's like a level of resistance that will meet you yes. when you're ready. It's like the upper limit. Right. Yes. And have you ever experienced that before? Yes. What do yes. you do to get through that? How do you push through that upper yes. limit? Um, I think it has to be with believing in yourself and also who is that person? Mm. I learned that a long time ago. You know, like for example, I was not ready for 10 years ago, who I was, right. I wasn't ready for more income. I wasn't yeah. ready to be a leader. I wasn't ready. So even having one assistant to having 20 people under you and your team as your staff. Yeah. Um, now that I have managers, I have ladies, professional ladies, brokers and all that stuff. So it's, who are you? Who are you? Yeah. Who are you, you have now? to step into that new person you have to be. If you want to get higher, it's all within you. It's your limitations. So what's your, you know, where do you see yourself in five years and what's your limitation that you got to be working on? Oh man, girlfriend. Oh my gosh. Miss Oprah. Here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I want to enjoy life. I love what I do. I also have a group that I would love to collaborate with you and for you to also do things with me because I have real estate in heels. Yeah. So it's for my real estate ladies, uh, my mastermind. So I trademark that and I just see myself with our businesses, keep growing, of course, income wise. Um, but it's about enjoying life, making an impact. And then when you help others, you just become a better human being and yes. a leader as well. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I don't have a specific goal. I just want to continue to be yeah. and always be me. Yeah. I also learned that. I don't know if you, a lot of people now with social media. Yeah. They're trying to be somebody else. Somebody else. And it becomes fake. Oh yeah. Right. Well, it's just like they're being a watered down version of somebody else and nobody likes watered down anything. Right. So you got to step into you. And, but a lot of people go, I think people have that question. Well, I don't know who I am. You have to find who you are. But I don't even feel like you don't even have to find it. You're right here. You're right looking at yourself in the mirror. Like it's not hard to figure out what do you like? What do you stand for? But people don't take the time to go, what are my core values? You know, what do I want out of my life in five years? Like know that and you'll know who you are right now. And then, you know, like look and see who do I want to be in five years? And then make sure, like you said, be that person. Yes. Right? Be that person. And how does that person show up? You got to show up like that person yeah. right now. And you know what? I think also a lot of people, you have like um, things in your heart, like things that happen to you in your life or you don't believe in yourself. Yes. Low self-esteem, a lot of doubt. So I feel like you, like for me, I always think like, you know, there's people that have been through so much. Right. Right. And it's not an excuse for them to be a good person. It's yes. all a choice. It's always a choice. Your life is your choice. It's your choice. And like you said, look in the mirror. You're enough. Believe in yourself. Yes. And do it now. Mm-hmm. Okay, one last question before you go. 
what, what do you do to invest in yourself? Like, you know, right now I'm filling up my mastermind for 2020, which you should be in it, by the way. But why should people like invest in themselves? I, I'm a huge believer on trainings. Trainings, I mean, that's skills, right? right? So you need to learn from people that are actually doing and they know what they're talking about. It's like people will take out, you know, $40,000 a year to go to, into debt to go to a college and yes. have a job, but they won't take $40, a $40,000 loan out to join a mastermind. Yes. Which is like, that's, you're gonna, that is like an MBA in one year. Yes, because you are actually picking the brain of people that are making a lot of money or they're experts in their field. So yep. they're gonna and make your success be faster. Yes. And doing trial and error. So I believe in trainings. I believe in seminars and being around like masterminds like my yes. individuals so you can get more ideas. Yes. And okay. grow and skills. So what, at what level should you be at in order to join your mastermind? Let's say if they're in real estate and they want to like real estate and heels mastermind, yes. what level do they need to be at? Meaning like level of... Like how much, like do they, do you have a certain requirement? No. Not really? really? Yeah, it could be anyone. Anyway. Well, my requirement they is... They probably got to pay. <laughs> Actually, mine's free. Is well, there a real estate? Yes. yes. Okay, sure. all my real estate girls better hook it up. Over mine's here. free. Real yes. Why is it free? You know what? Because I haven't changed that. Okay, well, you need to charge. <laughs> Maybe First I'll talk to you. Because, well, pe when people have things for free, they don't pay attention. That's what I've seen. Like, if I give free advice or I've done free coaching sessions, people will win. They don't do anything with it. Because it's it's... It's the mindset of free. Totally. Right? Totally. So even if it's not a low entry point, it needs to be something, something so they right? have skin in the game. Totally. So we just did one event for a retreat, which is amazing. And that one we did charge. Okay. And good. it was like fifty dollars to go or yeah. actually it was ninety nine dollars. Ninety nine oh. we had an early bird special. So That's yeah. Awesome. I mean, so, yeah, it's it's not even about the price. I like I mean you you'll attract a different type of real estate agent depending on yes, the price. Yes, but it's also how much are they willing to invest in themselves? Right. And do they believe, right? right? Are they going with that mindset? Let me learn or oh I'm just here because it's free or my friend brought yeah, me. Yeah, I don't want those people. That's why the only place I think I have for free is my podcast. Oh. No. That's good. And actually you know for, for my people, I don't know what you do for your group, but for me, right now that I'm not charging, I do say that I really like to protect my energy. I'm big on energy. So my group is not about girls or women just talking about nonsense or criticizing girl ladies or talking about how hard it is to date. No, it's strong women, uplifting women. Let's help each other out. Let's mastermind. Yeah. Let's be successful. Let's make some money, right? Yeah. So, and it's the people that we're attracting. Those are the people. Yeah, that's awesome. Because that's what you're putting out there. That's the type of stuff you're putting the out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think like too, also your messaging. You know, if you're talking about being strong, like, of course, you're going to attract people that want to be strong women or that already are, right? So true. it's all about your messaging. So that is so true. I love that. Okay. So are you working with a business coach right now or how yeah. do you invest in yourself? Yes. So okay. I have a business coach. I actually have two. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. 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 So I think also your business coach could be different, right? I have one for marketing. I have one for my financials. So it's different for the business aspect. And it's always to shortcut the process for you. Yes. It's like, okay, like these people have been where I want to go. And it was interesting. I had Marshall Silver on my podcast. So I don't know. I always use this example because I think it was so cool. You know, do you know Marshall? Have you met him yet? No. Okay. I'll connect you. Thank he's you. a hypnotist, but he's done like really well. He's with two market too. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. And he, I said, okay, if I have an extra hundred thousand dollars right now, where should I invest it? And he said, in yourself, he said, find somebody who has what you want, the lifestyle you want and exchange money with them to find out exactly how to get there quicker. Yes. And I was like, I thought he was going to say real estate or something. And he told me that I was like, oh, okay, that's genius. Yes. And so I've actually been going to some of like the people like I want to learn from and saying, Hey, can I give you, you know, this amount and come spend the day with you just yeah. to see. Cause I'm like in one day, I think I could like learn so much and everything could change. Yes. Yeah. That is so true. You, yeah. you need mentors, you know, you know, coaching for that. Yep. It depends what you're looking for as well. Yes. Yeah. Speaking of that, I have VIP days too, for everybody listening in, you know, oh. you can come spend the day with me and learn. Is it free? Absolutely not. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Commercial right here. <laughs> Well, because like also it's an energetic exchange, right? Yes. You said you want to protect your energy. Yes. If somebody's paying me $10,000, which is what it is to come spend, you know, um, six hours with me mm -hmm. is I'm going to show up. If you just pay me $10,000, like I'm bringing my A game, right? Like I'm going to like make sure I like studied you beforehand. So I'm coming in and like giving, making it worth your while. But if it's free, I'm going to be like, I probably won't even do my makeup. That like, is so true. I'm just like, hmm. I don't care. That like, is I so want to help you, but that it's is a so different true. energy. That is so true. You are correct. Mm -hmm. So yeah. when I get focusing, paid, yeah. Yes, you're mentoring, you're coaching. Yep. 
Yeah. yeah. And people need to respect that. You and know? they come prepared too. Mm-hmm. So when people pay and they're like, okay, here I have like all of my clients, you know, like even um, in my mastermind, they get a 30 minute coaching session. So they come prepared. They have an agenda and they know exactly what they want to talk about on the call with me. And if, if it would have been free, they'd been like, I don't know what's going on. Like, I just can't find my purpose in life, which it's fine. Yes. I'm not the person for you though. Like go to somebody else and get help. Yes. Yes. yes, Right. Yeah. So So, true. How exciting. But, um, anyway, so there's, you know, we, I feel like we can go on and on about this subject about investing in yourself. The main point is these people need to do it, right? They need to do it. Yeah. Every successful person is doing it because Mm -hmm. it takes the pain. I mean, you're still going to go through growing pains Mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's like, let's have less failures along the way yeah, <laughs> to yeah. get there. Yes. Yeah. That you can relate and, you know, that can help you out. Mm-hmm. Just different things in life as yes, well. Yes, exactly. Right? I love it. Preaching. Preach. <laughs> I'm ready to go sell something. Let's go. Let's do something. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. This has been so much fun. Okay. So tell everybody, where can they find you? Okay. So my IG is underscore Jeanette, uh, J E double N E double T E. Okay. So they'll find me. And we'll, we'll make sure to link up everything for you. And you have some events coming out in 2020. So we'll stay in contact on social media and post about it. I mean, obviously we'll talk besides just social media too. Join our events. Yes. That's one of our speakers. So we'll talk about it. Absolutely. All right, you guys, if you loved this episode, I want you to take a screenshot right now, tag both me and Jeanette on Instagram and let us know what you learned. Bye guys. Wow, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode as much as I loved filming it. A couple things I took away from Jeanette was just her belief and her determination in herself. Every successful person that I've interviewed, that is the one thing that separates them from all the wannabes out there that are just talking and not taking action. And what's so cool about that, you guys, is that It's a choice you can make right now after finishing this video to step into that belief for yourself. It's not something you can buy. It's not something that you can invest in. It's something that you have to do for yourself. And it's just a matter of changing the way that you're thinking, you guys. And, you know, she's been doing affirmations forever. You guys know I'm a huge fan of affirmations. We talk a ton about mindset over in my Millionaire S Society group. So, you know, that's opening up in just a few weeks. So stay tuned for that. And I wanted to remind every single one of you guys, if you've been wanting to work with me um, and maybe, you know, you've seen in Jeanette, you're like, gosh, you know, I want to have that belief and that determination. I want to help other people become successful. We have the Mommy Millionaire Academy that is starting in just a few days. And this is the certification program where you can learn to help people strategize their best life. We use the Mommy Millionaire method to make that happen. So if you guys are interested in that, go head over to mommymillionaire.co and check out everything that's going on with the Academy. And um, you know what? Make sure to follow Jeanette on Instagram. If you guys are obsessed with real estate like I am, you want to be following somebody that knows what they're talking about and that is a trusted resource. And Jeanette is vetted by me. She knows what she's talking about and I'm a huge fan of her. So I hope you guys make sure to follow along.